Welcome back to this tutorial series. My name is William. In this tutorial series, we have been creating a Laravel uh, CRUD application. And up until this point, you have been able to create and save a user in the database. And you have been able to perform a redirect to the index page, uh, to the index method, which in this case does not have anything. So I would like us to be able to do something about this index method and also go ahead and be able to display the customers that we create in a sort of um, an index page or in other words uh, a page uh, somewhere so let us go ahead and uh, see what we can be able to do about that so I will open this one and I would like us to because this is the last thing that we had done in our previous tutorial we had created this index method and I want us to just go ahead and populate it with some uh, pieces of code. In this case, uh, I will just want us to return. And then we are going to render. So inertia render. And then what we are going to do, we are going to render a page. And in this case, let us call the page index. But eventually, I'll be able to move all of them in one folder. So for now, let us just enjoy having it like that. So index. And then we will also be able to pass an array of data. So in this case, if you want to pass uh, data with uh, the uh, uh, page, in other words, that you are displaying, you can be able to do it like this. So the inertia render index then uh, we will have a comma and then you can be able to have the square brackets to uh, house our array and inside here we can have uh, maybe we save in a variable called customers and then in this case i want us to get all the customers so in, the, in this case we can say customer all but then i want us to choose what we want to get from the customer table so we are going to map some values so in this case function and we will pass a variable customer to get an instance of a single customer in this case and then after that we are going to return we are going to return the customer details as an array so in this case we are going to return and what we are going to have inside here we have the customer ID Probably we will need to use the ID somewhere. And we are going to have customer. This variable here, customer ID. And then we have name. Customer name. Like that those two are enough in this case you're not interested in going so much into it but uh, we can have everything like that and so the next thing I want us to do is to go and uh, create a file that in this case we are going to call index in our in our um, pages folder so this is what we have in the index method and so i will go to our folder here we have pages create and then now i want to have pages index so new file index dot view and inside here of course we will have the script And like that, let me 
can have here as a setup and then we will have the template in this case it's okay template like that and then we can be able to go ahead and uh, just put some uh, uh, scaffolding information so in this case we will have um, I want us to have a div And then we will have a class of a card. So in this case, what I want us to have is a card actually. Column, maybe we can say five offset three, like that. Then inside this card, I would like us to have a table. And we are going to have a table. And inside here, let us have our table as a bordered, so class table, table bordered. Maybe we can have it to have uh, some hover table hover such that when we we hover above the table we can be able to see whatever it is that we are actually highlighting at a specific time then maybe table small like that and then after that we will have the table head Then we are going to have rows. So in this case, table row. And under each, uh, we are going to have two rows, maybe one for the name and the other one for the action. So in this case, table head and uh, we will have name. And then uh, the other one, we are going to have action like that. So those two. And then we will have table body. And inside here, I want us to have table row. Under the row, I, I want us to have table data. In the first one, we will have the customer name. Let me just say uh, customer name for now, because I would want us to see how the tables look like before we are able to loop through. And then here we can have table uh, data again. And we can say uh, action. Or something like that but even for the action I think uh, let me just go ahead and put whatever it is that I'm thinking how you put here so we are just going to have a buttons which eventually we will change to link so in this case I'm going to have button like that and you can say the first one maybe is a edit and the other button We can have it as a delete button and for this one I can have a class of a BTN BTN uh, 
at primary maybe we can give it btn outline primary like that and this one we can uh, have it with a class of uh, btn btn outline and then we can say what danger like that so I would like to just uh, visit customers forward slash customers and see if we can be able to have our table yes we have a table that looks like this maybe we can be able also to also maybe have view so view edit delete or something such that maybe we can be able to show a little bit more detail maybe let me just do that so we have uh, one more which uh, let me just copy this one there's no need for me to continue repeating myself let me just copy this and paste above here and this one maybe we can give it uh, an outline of uh, success for view or maybe even warning doesn't really matter like that or maybe info something of that so let us see how a table looks like yes it looks something of that sort not bad so i would like us to be able to load our users and you see when we i mean our customers when we load this page i just want to show you something i want us to inspect and go to network and uh, refresh again and see what happens so as you can see we are having uh, we are having customers this one when you click uh, at it is really not much that we are observing here oh i thought we could be able to see something on the response but it's nothing let me see if there's something else that is being returned uh -huh. just a minute yes let us just check customers so if it's a get request then it is going to go through web.php and we are going to load customers that index and this one is supposed to render an inertia file which is rendered here and we are returning the customers so i do not know why it's not picking the customers from the database let me just uh, try to look through and see what happens uh, maybe we can be able to attempt and check view dev tools and see if there's anything that is actually being returned so let me just click that one view it seems to be unresponsive why is that the case view just a minute let me pause the video a bit let me just go ahead and uh, declare the props here so define props and in this case in our props we have we expect to have <laughs> object which is uh, customers so in this case customers and it's an object why do we have it so is because there is something that we are returning in our users controller which is called customers so that is the reason why i am uh, mentioning it like that and then on top of that let me just go ahead and loop through and display the users and we see what will happen so in our table row 
I would like to just have a V4 loop and in this case we are going to say customer in customers like that and down here I want us to display the name of the customer so just like us to have customer dot name like that so I want us to just check and refresh and see if there's anything yes and the names are here so I believe we just had a challenge of uh, we had not been able to define the props so you can see all the customers are being displayed and um, for the functionality of these buttons we are going to do it in uh, the next tutorial video so for now i would like to thank you for following this tutorial video up until here and i ask that you please please support me in any way you can if it is by subscribing please subscribe if it's by sharing please subscribe please share and if you will support me in any other way maybe you can uh, get to me and maybe we can see how we can be able to assist each other thank you very much for watching this tutorial up until this moment